Welcome to Bar 20 Arms. Today we're going to do another ballistics gel test. It's been requested that we do a 22 long rifle gel test to see the effects on a 22 long rifle bullet. Now we're just going to be shooting the old standard Ruger 1022. This is an old one I, I bought years ago. Uh, still functions fine. Got a Leopold scope on it. We're going to use two different bullets. We're going to use the very cheapest. Bought these at Walmart, Winchester, PowerPoint. Uh, they're just a plinking ammo. They are hollow points, but they're they seem very low velocity And by the way, we are going to chronograph these and then uh, we're going to do the CCI stingers 22 long rifle and they're hollow points as well So we're going to do both tests and then we're also going to use a handgun a 22 pistol uh, I think it's got a five inch barrel on it. We'll measure that and make sure and We're gonna see what happens. Uh, everybody's got a 22 and everybody loves shooting 22 long rifle all right, let's get to uh, doing this test. All right, let's uh, cut this thing open. This side, uh, we shot um, Winchester power points. This side, the Stingers. Um, pistol at about four foot and rifle at about 30 yards. Um, same with the, with the Winchesters. All right, uh, our block's starting to thaw out, so we better make this quick. We're gonna cut it right down the middle. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, my knife. I, I remembered mine, but it messes everything up. Uh, I had to put it on a to-do list, even. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's cut this sucker. I can go right down the middle. table here. All right. Nice. All right. Catch my bearings here. All right, on this side was the Winchester. There's the bullet down there. So it traveled pretty much the entire block, um, about a foot into the block. And we got a real decent channel that it cut through there. I, there's one, two pieces of lead behind the bullet. So it separated a little bit, but it pretty much, it looks like it pretty much stayed together. Right, let's get to the bullet here. <laughs> that is a really neat mushroom. I'm going to lay it out here, but I'm going to show it to you here in just a second. Now the uh, stinger. Um, oh, also with the Winchester, when it, it first impacted, it climbed a little bit and then it leveled back out and it was pretty much the same level uh, when it stopped. So it, it stayed pretty straight. It didn't zigzag and jump around in the block too much. So uh, that's pretty impressive. The Stinger, um, it only shedded one little piece of lead. And that is a beautiful mushroom as well. Uh, it's really hard to see, obviously, because it's real small. Okay. Didn't go as far. It didn't go as far. It only went um, about half as far as the as the Winchester, which is odd because it's supposed to be stinger, big bad. And, um, we're gonna get a measuring device and tell you exactly. Um, so let's work on the other side here. Um, okay, so. That was the, this is the Winchester rifle, traveled the, the longest distance, um, and let me see, i got to put it back together to look. This was the 
Stinger, this was a Stinger pistol, pretty much point blank. All right, now we got the, um, gotta find it here. There's a big piece of lead. This is the Winchester with the pistol. It shedded a couple pieces as well. That bullet's going to break apart a little bit. There's nothing you can do about that. Probably because of its mass. Um, that's probably all there is to that. And that traveled about the same. Um, Alright, the first one, rifle traveled exactly 12 inches. Uh, Win Winchester PowerPoint. The Stinger pistol shot nine inches exactly. The Winchester, let me recheck, yeah, Winchester pistol shot 11 inches. And the Stinger pistol, or Stinger rifle shot 11 inches. So that's quite a big, big difference. Um, oddly enough, the rifle uh, penetrated deeper. Probably the extra barrel and the length, um, probably more powder burn, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. well, uh, how, how far are we shooting? Um, 30 yards with the rifle and about four foot with the pistol. So I really would have expected the pistol to penetrate farther. More energy, I would think, at that distance, but um, by result, that's not right. Okay, this is the Stinger rifle. The Stinger rifle and the Stinger pistol, almost identical mushroom. The Stinger um, pistol separated, but the Stinger rifle didn't. It stayed almost completely together, uh, which is pretty impressive. I would say the bulk ammo is the best, to be honest. It separated a little bit, um, got some fragments, but better mushroom. This is the, um, let's see if I can get it in the camera here. This is the Winchester's It's a really neat mushroom. That's pretty impressive. And this is the Stingers. So for just a cheap round, I'd go with the bolt. It's gonna do just as much damage. Um, so that's pretty neat. I, like I don't that. know. I don't know if the uh, <clears throat> if you can hear it on the camera, but you, if you, every once in a while you hear that bird. 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 That's an ivory bill woodpecker. Right oh, there. no kidding. Yeah. Where's that twenty? Oh no, we're not going <laughs> to shoot ivory bill woodpecker. Oh, man. We like them. Oh, okay. We like them. Well, we'll do a video on no, ivory bill woodpecker. Okay. Well, that ain't no fun. Is there <laughs> something else we can shoot around here? <laughs> oh yeah. There's a lot of bees and stuff. Boy, it's pretty day out here. All right, well, there's our 22 ballistic gel test. I, I think that's pretty informative. Uh, we did uh, chronograph these. Oh, yes, we did, and I'll put those in the description. Um, it's a little bit too much information to throw out here because I've already confused myself because of the uh, both direction shots on this. I've lost track. Other than these are the uh, stingers and these are the... Okay, this end, this end was... What this was, this, was this was the pistol stinger. Okay. This was the Winchester rifle. Okay. And then stinger rifle, Winchester pistol. Okay. So the stinger rifle came out right here, right? Right. Okay. Stinger rifle. Stinger rifle, 11 inches. Okay. Stinger and pistol. Stinger pistol and Winchester rifle. Yeah. Uh, 12 inches. About 12 and a half, actually. So that Winchester traveled farther than that stinger. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The cheapo, cheapo bottom of the shelf box of 22s. Unbelievable. Done better. Yeah. Don't waste your money. Get the bulk ammo. Yeah. And the mushroom is just as good, really. Oh, it I is. Mean, that's awesome. That's more effective. This mushroom is more effective than this one. This is handgun? Those are both. Those are the rifle and the, the pistol. Those are both the Winchesters, and these are both stingers. Wow.
You should be able to hear the difference too on the on the video. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the stinger had more of a. It actually moved the block, and it, it, you could tell it had a little more energy, but it didn't do much with it. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. It wasted it. Great video. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's tie it up. Unless you got anything else. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bar 20 Arms.